Hello, Webmaster. As you may know, page builders are often associated with less optimal results in terms of site performance and code quality, at least compared to skilled hand coding by a pro. Besides this, for all the people out there who know even just a tiny bit of HTML, using page builders feels a bit like drawing while wearing handcuffs. If you've been here yourself, I'm happy to introduce you to the Live Canvas Builder. Live Canvas is a radically new approach to page builders, based on WordPress and plain HTML with a Bootstrap 4 flavor. It will help you build and maintain super fast web pages that can either be served by WordPress upon a robust high performance open source stack or can be exported as standalone static HTML files. There is no vendor lock in at all. After building a page, if you disable the Live Canvas plugin, the site will not stop working, as with all the other builders. Plain HTML is saved onto the database. Live Canvas makes it easy to build and maintain great responsive pages. Its visual editor lets you easily combine and remix ready made sections and blocks, which are just code snippets. We include a library of high quality, handcrafted, ready made sections and blocks solid, minimal, pure Bootstrap 4 based HTML code snippets, well tested in all Bootstrap breakpoints. But what makes it special is that you can review and edit all the generated HTML code via a live code editor. You're always in full control of the markup. Live Canvas is a creative environment that encourages experimentation and will make you build better sites. It's clean, lightweight, and powerful. It won't get in your way, and it won't set any boundaries to your ideas. You have full edge-to-edge -edge control of your page. Now, we're going to talk about the stack. To build a successful web project, you need an efficient and stable foundation. All you need to get started building awesome and fast pages is a vanilla WordPress install, our super light custom strap theme, which is free and open source, the Live Canvas plugin. What is the custom strap theme? Put simply, it's the best way to experience Bootstrap 4, the best and most popular CSS framework today with WordPress. Now, technically, it's a child theme of Understrap, the web's top rated Bootstrap 4 based WordPress starter theme. It makes your site go fast and adds some quite unique features. It has a built-in SASS compiler interfaced with the WordPress customizer. Now, if you're a bit familiar with Bootstrap, what we're saying here is that basically you can change your color variables from the WordPress customizer and your Bootstrap CSS will be automatically rebuilt. You can check out the custom strap page on our site to know more. On another side, can I run live canvas on another theme or on my custom theme? Of course. The only mandatory requirement is that your theme must include the Bootstrap 4 CSS. Okay, let's get started with the builder. As you can see here, we've just installed the Live Canvas plugin, Custom Strap, and the Understrap parent theme, of course. Now, let's create our first page. In the WordPress backend, head over to the Pages menu and choose Add Live Canvas Page. You'll be prompted for a name. Let's call it My Page and click OK. Let's discover together the Live Canvas Editor Interface Basics. But before that, let's just add a ready-made section to the page so we can actually have something to work on. In the black top bar, there's a handy responsive preview feature. It has all the standard Bootstrap 4 breakpoints, plus a 13-inch laptop view. More on the right, the Options menu reveals some advanced options. Edit Main HTML to review and edit all the generated code. Edit Global CSS to add your own optional CSS rules to the site. History to review and restore past editing steps. Download as HTML to export your page content as a standalone index.html file. Reset page to delete your page and restart from scratch. Full screen mode. The last buttons, save and exit, do the obvious. 
In general, it's interesting to note that contrary to what happens with other builders, HTML is directly saved onto the database, and it's the only source of truth. So actually, we might describe Live Canvas as a smart HTML code editor for WordPress, a tool to custom code everything, where you also have some extremely useful tools to mix and match our recommended code snippets or yours. Now let's see how easy it is to handle text in Live Canvas. As you can see, clicking the Y text, the editing cursor will appear, and you'll notice in the top bar some text-specific editing tools. Let's try to edit this text and to bold it. Technically, in the Live Canvas editor, this text editing behavior is enabled when a specific attribute is added to the HTML code in order to delimit the areas which should be editable and how editing should happen. We've got two accepted values for the editable attribute. Editable equals rich. Editable equals inline. While editable equals inline is for inline elements like single paragraphs, span, and smalls, editable equals rich is for divs or articles. Now let's see an example on how to edit images as well. Clicking the image, a panel shows up. You have basically three possible sources, uploading the image and handling it via WordPress. The free, amazing, endless photo stock of Unsplash. Our free vector clip art collection. Below, in the panel, there's an image preview and a field for the image URL. For Unsplash images, an additional tool to apply Imagic effects on the fly is shown. Let's try the Hue Tilt effect. As you can see in the example, we're editing the background image of a container fluid element. Using ready-made sections. We've enriched Live Canvas with a collection of useful ready-made sections to quickly get started in your projects. Let's have a look together. Click the blue Add New Section button. As you can see, the ready-made sections are organized in folders to ease consultation and choice. Clicking the thumbnails, you can instantly insert them in the chosen page section and see how they fit inside your page. All these ready-made sections are just HTML code, and in particular, clean, minimal HTML5 using the Bootstrap 4 classes, meant to maximize speed performance. You can freely edit them and shape them as you want. Build your own custom sections via HTML coding. In Live Canvas, you can also build your own sections from scratch. Just open the HTML editor feature from the section's contextual menu and freely code your masterpiece. For example, let's create our first test section, erasing all the actual code of our old test section and placing a simple heading. This will not be a very interesting section, but just a quick demo of the concept. Okay, now let's add to this element the attribute editable equals inline. So, we've just made this text simply editable in the future without the need to touch the code. And let's add the Text Center Bootstrap class to center the text. As you can see, there's a powerful HTML editor in there that supports auto indenting, code folding, and auto complete. You can also store your custom sections in a local library, so you can build your own page parts to reuse and remix in your site. It will be a cool place to experiment and to paste code grabbed from CodePen or whatever you desire. Check out this raw example from this CodePen page and experience the power of Live Canvas. Here we copy and paste the HTML and CSS code. Build your own section from scratch via the Grid Builder. You can use the Grid Builder to divide your horizontal space into columns that vertically stack on screens under a certain width, the classic responsive behavior. Let's click on Add New Section and choose the Grid Builder tab in the panel. 
As you can see, there are a number of useful ready-made grids, covering the typical needs, and customizable via simple options. With the Container Width Radio button, you can decide whether the grid should be housed inside a standard or full-width container, as per Bootstrap's typical structure. Let's see a visual example of the difference. We add a background color to highlight things. As you can see, we've built two different sections. The first has a fixed width container, and the second one has a full width container. Now let's start from scratch again and see how we can control the responsive behavior. The breakpoint selection allows you to choose under which screen width size the columns should vertically stack, or if the grid should be applied to mobile as well. Let's see a basic example. In the first section, we build two columns using the LG breakpoint, so columns will actually look like real columns on extra large screens only, and will vertically stack on the large screen's breakpoint, and below, so on mobile too. Now, let's add another section with two columns using the SM breakpoint. These will vertically stack only on XS, very small screens, so on mobile phones. Now let's add a background color to highlight each individual column. OK, let's check the behavior of these two grid sections with the responsive viewer. As you can see, they collapse under a different screen size. OK, let's go back to the option panel. The Add Section Title Row checkbox is just a handy feature that will add before your chosen column scheme a full row with a nice heading and a paragraph that you can easily edit. As shown earlier in the last example, we have the Columns Schema buttons, the real trigger of the grid builder. Upon clicking those buttons, your section will be populated with a clean and quite minimal code, implementing the desired grid. The Blocks Directory now let's see how to create and use blocks in Live Canvas. The Blocks panel shows a directory of categorized HTML snippets. Clicking each square button will populate your block with the element you've chosen. As with sections, you can click and try to test freely and see how they fit together. Let's quickly populate the three columns. OK. As you can see, we have organized blocks in basic blocks, like a heading, a dummy paragraph, an image, an icon, a button, or a block quote. Then we have embed, basically iframes, to incorporate in one click material from YouTube, SoundCloud, or a Google Map. Then we have the classic bootstrap blocks, where you can find items like blurb, card, alert, accordion, and carousel. You'll want to tweak their code and adjust them to suit your needs. Then we have WordPress integration blocks. First of all, there is a general shortcode element, so you can integrate any third-party WordPress plugin into your page. Moreover, Live Canvas has some powerful and versatile built-in shortcodes. Get post and get categories. They have a visual interface and can also be extended with PHP code. Finally, we have a custom blocks directory, where all your custom blocks will be stored. As you can see, there's a link that brings you to the block archive section, where you can add, store, and manage your custom HTML blocks. As you can imagine, this is something extremely useful for web designers. OK, after inserting it, every block's content can be individually edited by clicking on it, from text to images, video embeds, icons, buttons. Clicking each item, a different panel will be shown upon the context to ease your editing work. Contextual Menus Let's have a look at the contextual menus, viewing a section's contextual menu as a typical example. Clicking upon the hamburger menu, a number of useful options will be shown. HTML Editor to view and edit the code responsible for that specific element and easily focus only on that specific code block. 
As we've seen at the beginning of the video, you can always see the global code editor as well. Edit Properties That reveals a panel dealing with the Elements Applied classes, shown as easy-to-use selections. We'll go through this in detail shortly. Replace Section To replace the section with another ready-made section or with a custom grid. Copy, Paste, Duplicate, and Delete – the usual editing tools that you're familiar with. Copy and Paste is a tremendously useful feature. On Chrome, this feature will interact directly with the system's clipboard, so you'll be able to directly copy and paste HTML code from other sites and browser tabs as well. For example, you can also copy elements from another site running the Live Canvas Editor. But you can experiment and be inspired from every site on the Internet. Here we show how you can copy the code from the Chrome Inspector tool as well. One of the coolest things of building websites with Live Canvas is that since we're using plain HTML, you can reuse any code snippet you want and literally steal them from around the web. The last feature in the contextual menu is Move Up and Move Down. It can be useful to rearrange elements in your web page. Let's introduce the Properties panel. Depending on what you're editing, be it a section, a container, a row, a column, or a block, the Properties panel will show slightly different options, but the basics stay the same. We'll go through the Section Properties panel as a relevant example. Now basically, these panels allow you to edit a number of properties of the chosen element via simple widgets that interact with the element's classes and use the native Bootstrap classes exclusively. This allows you to interact and customize the element without adding CSS bloat. Of course, unless you really want to. Okay, let's dive into the interface from top to down. First of all, the Colors section of this panel allows us to assign the text and the background color using a simple Color Palette widget. This palette pulls the color values directly from your own Bootstrap CSS, helping you achieve a coherent color choice, always in sync with your project. By the way, as you've seen at the beginning of the video, in our custom strap theme, these colors can be instantly redefined via the customizer. So even after finishing the site, you can instantly change each color from a single point. Let's invert the colors of the section using a dark background and a light text. As you can see, upon clicking the desired colors, if you scroll down to the HTML Attributes section of the panel, you will see the Applied Classes. In this case, Background Dark and Text Light. Here you can also add or remove any classes, or give a custom ID to the element, or apply some inline CSS for quick styling. Going back to the panel top, after the Colors section, we have some tools to control the element's alignment, the horizontal alignment, and the vertical alignment. As you can see, in this example, the alignment of the text is handled by a class assigned to the container. Let's play with the text alignment. Moreover, you can easily control the padding and the margin. All these are just means to apply the corresponding Bootstrap Spacing Utility classes. So also, in this case, everything is achieved without any kind of added CSS. Let's check what we've generated. Just a bit below, we have the Decoration Tools. The first one, Background, allows us to add a background pattern of your choice or a background image. You can even use Unsplash as a source to quickly get some nice free pics. Background images are applied via inline CSS. After assigning a background, if you scroll down to the HTML attributes area, you'll see the code in the inline style text area. Let's add some beautiful color linear gradient plus a blend mode to adjust the contrast. A simple trick – to enlarge the inline window and work better, just right-click it. To speed up the example, I've copied before in my clipboard some lines of CSS code. As you can see, we've set the background size property to tweak the image. 
while working in the inline CSS text area. To fire your CSS code, you need to click anywhere outside the text area. OK, now let's go to the Decoration Tools. After the Background option, we have the Shape Divider tool. This can add a nice touch to sections to achieve a somehow less linear and more modern layout. Let's give it a try. Before that, let's just remove the bottom padding so the SVG shape will look better at the end of the section. Now let's choose a shape divider that fits our taste. Technically, this feature works by adding some SVG shape dividers directly in the HTML code, so it won't slow down your page with an additional resource request. Oh, by the way, if you've got another section with a different color, you can tweak the SVG color as you want, simply adjusting the color by code. OK, now we're going to quickly add two more sections and complete our web page. Let's add one content section and one call to action section at the end. Now let's tune the general spacing of the section using the option panels. Let's add the same background image color blend to the CTA section and a twin SVG shape. As you can see, we can start by simply copying and pasting the SVG code from the first section. To achieve a harmonic closing effect with the first and last section, we'll add a simple CSS code to rotate the shape. We'll add that directly from the HTML code editor. Perfect. Then the last decoration tool is Shadow. This is using the standard Bootstrap Shadow classes to add an outer shadow to the element. It can be useful to add some small accent to a box or whatever. Let's play with shadows of the R Story section container. Now, after the decoration tools, we have the animation section. In this area of the panel, you'll be able to assign and refine some animations to the selected element. These animations rely on the AOS library, Animate on Scroll. You can instantly enable it in the WordPress backend, going to the Live Canvas menu item. Check the relevant box and click Save. This will add the relevant CSS and JS for AOS to work. As an example, let's see how we can animate a Call to Action button adding the Fade Down animation effect to its block panel. This is purely done via HTML attributes. If you see the parent element's HTML code editor, it will be easy to spot. Data-AOS attribute. OK, hope we've been clear in describing the basics of Live Canvas and in showing why this page builder is designed to grow your skills, not to hinder them. To know more about Live Canvas, please check out our website, livecanvas.com. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.